will be right back for from Phoenix All Access as well as WSOE. All right, you're clear. Be ready in about six or seven minutes. It's up to me for a little while. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside the WSOE radio studios on the campus of Elon University. My name is David Flint. It seems that the Elon women's team is having some difficulties today. Down 51-21 at the break to the Tigers of Auburn, who are 10-1 and are coming off an impressive overtime win just down the road against North Carolina, 86-81. That was on Thursday night. To start off, let's go over some top 25 scores in the women's basketball world. Only a few games going on today that involve top 25 teams. Two head-to-head -head matchups, though. First up, second-ranked Notre Dame on the road against Marquette, 55-40, with about four minutes left in the third quarter there. The Fighting Irish on top. Just about to tip at 3 o'clock, way out in California, a long trek for the top-ranked UConn Huskies. They go to Berkeley and have Head to a fight against the Golden Bears, who are ranked number 14. Two other matchups involving ranked teams today. Minnesota hosts Rhode Island. That's a 4 o'clock tip. And tonight at 7.30, the 15th ranked Syracuse Orangemen head to Central Florida for a 7.30 tip there. In the ACC today, a few games going on there as well. Actually, only two, and both of those I've already mentioned. The Notre Dame-Marquette matchup, which is now 56-40, and Syracuse versus Central Florida. Now, in the Colonial, of course, of large importance to Elon, obviously this game, but also a noon tip, no score update, though, as of yet. Maine heading to Boston and playing Northeastern, and Towson and Marshall tipped off at 1 o'clock, no score update there either. Northeastern, the Huskies, and hosting in Boston. That will be where Elon is headed next after the new year and the start of winter term here on campus. January 4th will be the date for Elon's next matchup. Hopefully, it will turn out at least not the way this one has started. Coach Charlotte Smith and her staff looking for something positive to bring into conference play in a couple weeks. I'll go to break here for a couple minutes.